teacher hacks. We love them, taking ordinary everyday items, bringing them into our classroom and creating a teacher tool with them. It's great. Today, we're gonna take this uh, grippy liner that you put in your shelves and turn it into a classroom management tool for your classroom. If you don't know me, my name is Angie and I was in the classroom for a bunch of years, 25, <laughs> and I have seen a lot of hacks. And this one comes to me, came to me by my friend Carrie. She was uh, team teaching with me in a kindergarten classroom. And one day she brought in her, this, a big roll of this. And I was like, what are you doing? And she said, oh, don't, we need this. And I was like, okay, whatever. And she uh, came up with these um, great classroom management tools that I really want to share with you. Let's go ahead and hear from you. If you're joining me, where are you joining from and what grades do you teach? And do you have a favorite classroom hack? And does it involve a uh, liner? <laughs> I wonder if it does. So um, the reason I want to share this with you is because in the last few weeks, I have been sharing a lot of classroom management tips with you. And coming up in this week, I am doing a masterclass to help you with the issue of early finishers. It's a classroom management issue, and I'm doing a free masterclass. The link is in the description down below, and go ahead and get signed up. People who attend are gonna, we're gonna get down and dirty with the early finishers issue. You are gonna get some solutions and you're going to get some free printables to take to your classroom. And it's gonna be a really great time. So uh, check out that link. There's about four time slots available. And I think you'll be really uh, glad that you attended. So let's go, let's move on to this. What in the world are we going to do with something like this? Well, I'm gonna get my stuff and let's go ahead and get busy. I'm gonna bring over my uh, music stand. You've seen this in the past. And uh, this is a great tool. The music stand is a great tool for when you're doing some uh, videoing because you can tip it up and use it as a uh, like a, a magnetic board. So that's a hack right there. Use a music stand or you can use it to raise and lower your stuff. Now, what are we going to build today? Well, here is an example. Let me go over to my um, document camera and I'm just gonna show you this. Amy from Butte, hello, welcome. I am just gonna show you this and this is what we're gonna make. It looks like, what? And that's what, when Gary was showing this to me, I was like, oh, okay. But you will see uh, um, why this is so nice. Um, so to make these, you get your big old um, roll of liner and you roll it out. And these become like little sit spots, except you are going to use them. Um, they don't, they won't. Uh, they don't have Velcro on the back, so they're easy to get on and off. And hello, Don. Uh, welcome, welcome. Fresh from Pat Flynn. I know. He's the best. Uh, last Sunday, his 200th episode. He is just amazing. Um, so welcome. Thank you for coming. Um, so to make these, I just get a little lid and I put this down. And these become, and Andrea, welcome. Um, these become little uh, like markers that you can use in your classroom. So uh, everybody gets one. And let's say that uh, with the early finisher issue, you uh, wanna get kids out of their seats and onto the floor, but you need to spread them out. Okay, so you take these and you go around your classroom 
and you're like, okay, here's Dawn over here. Here's Amy over here. Here's, oh, Amy and Andrea cannot be together. I'm going to put Jessica here instead. I'm going to put Andrea way over here in the corner because I know she's going to need a little extra space, right? And you can space them out easily. Another time that this comes in super handy is if you go to a different place in your school and you need to get them um, into a spot really quickly, all right? So you would, like if you're going to the gym for some sort of activity, you could put these out, you put them out, they go and they find their names and they can sit there, they can stand there, whatever they need to do. Another thing that this is great for is pairing up kids and putting them someplace in your classroom. So you're like, uh, Don and Andrea, I just chose your little spots. Here you go. Um, um, and Miss Abuela, thank you for coming from France. I know, that just blows my mind. So welcome, welcome. So you can pair up the kids and put them around the classroom as well. So how do you make this? It's, they're super easy. You just take your, your lid, you go around, right? You make a bunch of those and you cut them out. All right, let's go ahead and cut some out. I made one earlier. And there is something so satisfying about cutting these out, right? It just, it's like click, click. It's like, it's a little bit like uh, popping those um, little bubbles on packing material. This, it, at the end of the year, I always let my students take these home too. <laughs> And they loved taking these home because it has their name on it. And then you get some, just some sticky paper, all right, and write everybody's name on it. I like to get like the full sheets that, that don't have the dividers because then I can make their names as big as I can. So for instance, like this is pretty big. Um, so that if you're flipping it across your classroom and they have to go find it, they can see it really easily, okay? Um, yeah, risers for programs. I actually have used that for them. Also, when um, um, my students have a, uh, um, a guest speaker and they're sitting on the floor or something, I would put this in front of them instead of doing a name tag for them because name tags just kind of drive them nuts. They're always fiddling with them. If you put this in front of them, when you have a guest speaker, the guest speaker can see their names super easily and um, call on them and things like that. So uh, you will find hundreds of uh, uses for these. Uh, another time that I use this a lot is if we ever went out in the hallway to do some activities to space them out. And what's so great about it is like before, it's like uh, Amy and Andrea are not going to sit together. If you give them the choice, they're going to sit together. So this is a way for you to control where they're sitting in, the, in proximity to each other since we're having some issues with distance, uh, social distancing as well as where they're at next to each other, right? So, so simple and done. So make their names pretty big so that they can kind of see a little bit far away. And then you just simply take, let's go ahead and we'll make Grace's. Grace is helping me with the live stream today, my daughter, right? So you just take it, um, put it on there, All right? Let's get this music stand out of the way. And then the plastic um, clear tape that I found works really, really good. The book tape works good, but sometimes it gets kind of peely and icky. And, and so does this, but this just seems to stick really good. This is Gorilla Tape clear crystal clear gorilla tape if you've never used this gorilla tape it's awesome so you just don't tell my dentist you just take it and oh that one i didn't 
I didn't make it big enough, but that's okay. I can do it again. You take it and you just kind of seal it up. Then now it's easy to clean, right? If you have a student that um, needs to have all their stuff cleaned, now it's easy to clean and you don't have to redo it. I would also make a bunch of these when um, the beginning of the year and make some extras so that when you have kids coming uh, in to your classroom, um, their new students, you can easily make one for them quickly and then they'll feel like part of the group. All right. So that is my tip for the day. Now, how does this work into an early finisher solution? Well, the masterclass that I'm going to be doing, um, the materials that I am going to be showing you and that you'll be building are individual. And sometimes kids just need to get out of their desk, right? It's not good for their little bodies to be in a chair all day, especially those kindergartners and first graders. So you can prep this ahead of time and say, when you're done with your work, go ahead and get your early finisher binder. I call it the lip binder in the master class and go and find your spot and do your activity over there. And once you train them how to do it, super easy, it's just already done for you. So this is a great thing to use for your early finishers. If they need to go someplace um, other than their desk, they have a spot to go, okay? Are there any questions or comments? Thank you all for coming today. I appreciate it so much. Um, I hope all is well. Next week, we will not be having this live stream because I'm doing the masterclass at 10 o'clock next Sunday. So if you want to um, be involved with that, that's fine. But I won't be here, okay? Which I think, I think that's okay. Uh, you'll, you won't miss me too much. <laughs> but make some of these for your classroom. You are going to find a thousand uses for them. All right, have a great day. Yeah, great for social distancing. Um, and things like that. Oh, you guys, I forgot to showcase you. Thank you for coming, you guys. I really appreciate you um, regulars. Um, how else do you think that you could use these? One um, thing that I really use this a lot, like every day, is when they were coming in and it was rest time. They came in from um, recess to rest time. And so I would have these out all over the classroom and give them a little bit of space on the floor just to have a little rest time. That's one time that I used it a lot. All right. So good. All right. You are welcome, Don. Thanks for being here. And make sure to check out my podcast, Rockin' This Teacher Thing. A little happy note about that. We reached 1,500 downloads last week. So thank you to those who are listening. And, and I know all of you are listening because um, you have told me so. So thank you. And thank you for sharing all those with me. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe. God bless you. You're my heroes. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.